Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Roth, and as always told, out of voice radio. So today, we've got a Pikachu GX to be talking about. Which is kind of cool, because my previous video I did was about Pikachu. And now my next video is about Pikachu. Two Pikachu videos in a row, that makes me rather delighted. Now we have actually had a Pikachu GX before, and by we, I mean Japan. Now I did a video about it, I'll pop a link in the description. But there was a Pikachu GX that was released in a set in Japan that never actually made its way over here. Maybe this one will. If anyone's wondering, this is a clothing promotion over in Japan. And if you spend 2,400 yen, that is $22.21 or £17.81, if you're in the USA or the UK, then you get yourself a Pikachu. Yay! But what does it do? Well, our translation comes from the lovely Joe over at Cerebi.net. And if we start off having a look at the basics, we've got 160 HP, which makes it the smallest, weakest GX we've got at the moment, tied with Dedenne. Yeah, Marshadow had 10 less HP, but Marshadow has rotated, so we don't count him anymore. Retreat cost of 1 is nice because you've got free retreat with stuff like Escape Board and U-Turn Board. Weakness to Fighting is not good. Boswell's seen a huge amount of play. People are trying to counter Pikachu and Zekrom. And you do that by playing fighting Pokemon, which means you end up countering this as well. Boo, hiss, etc. Resistance to Metal is great. I mean, there's no real brilliant Metal decks around at the moment, but it's always nice to have a resistance. And being a Lightning Pokemon is pretty good. You've got Thunder Mountain Prism Star to bring down your attack cost. You've got Electro Power to do a little bit of extra damage. We got some nice tricks as a lightning Pokemon. So what about the attacks? Well, the first attack for a single colorless energy does 20 damage and flip a coin. If heads prevent all effects of attacks, including damage, done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. You flip a coin and if heads, you literally just get immunity. That's kind of cool. Always nice to not be able to be hurt by anything. I'm sure Pikachu probably likes the idea of not being hurt by anything. <laughs> uh, you're only doing 20 damage. The 20 damage is not ideal. And bearing in mind, we're going to be, by the time this comes out, a post-choice banned world. So it really is going to be 20. Now, you do have Electro Power. And to be fair, even when you've got Electro Power, you've also got Electro Charger. To recover your Electro Power, flip two coins for each heads, grab an Electro Power from the discard pile, shuffle it into your deck. So we have ways of doing more, but it is still only 20 damage. Now, one of the really good things here is that we just saw Will a couple of days ago. And Will says that the next time you flip a coin either for a trainer card, an attack, or an ability, you may decide the result of that coin flip. So you don't have to accept that it might be a heads or a tails, you can play a will. And if you play a will, then you will <laughs> do 20 damage and essentially be invulnerable the next turn. That's pretty nice. And also worth pointing out that we're not going to have many gusting options next turn. And this prevents effects of attacks regardless of which of your opponent's Pokemon is attacking. So if your opponent changes their active Pokemon, you've still got immunity. So we're still going to have Great Catcher. Discard two cards from your hand and then switch your opponent's active Pokemon with a benched EX or GX. But other than that, we're not going to have Great Gusting options. So there is every possibility here that your opponent just can't get your Pikachu out the active... And that means that you can actually buy yourself a turn or two pretty easily here. It's not a great attack, it's not doing a huge amount of damage, but you should be able to buy yourself a turn. And that's kind of cool, if I'm honest. I like this. Just for buying yourself a turn, I really like it. With bad gusting options and the fact that you prevent damage from anyone, this is kind of cool. The second attack here, two lightning, one colorless energy... 150 damage, and you do 32 yourself. Now, the good news is, 
that there's a lot to love about this attack. 150 will get the vast majority of non-GXs. The aforementioned Boswell comes to mind. But pretty much anyone, whether it's Volcanion or Blacephalon or maybe even something that isn't a fire type. They're all going down. In terms of GXs, you're not getting literally anyone here unless they're weak. But with a single Electro Power, you're up to 180. So there goes your Blacephalon and Rayquaza. And then with two of these here, you go up to 210. And that means that you can get a one-hit KO on something like a Naganadal or a Persian. And then, of course, with three of these, you'll be up to 240. And there's a Pikachu and Zekrom. It's asking a lot, but you can have four Electro Power in your deck. You play all four of them at once, you're up to 270. There's a Restoram and Charizard. So you can do decent damage. And you can get this rolling fairly easily. You play a Thunder Mountain, and this attack cost goes down to a Lightning and a Colorless. You play a Tapu Koko Prism Star, whack it in the Lost Zone from the bench. That puts one Lightning Energy on each of two benched Pokemon. And if you put one on Pikachu, then essentially one more Colorless Energy, and you're good to go. That's kind of cool. However, we've got Pikachu and Zekrom. I like this attack. I like that you can add the damage with Electro Power. I like that you can pay the attack cost with Thunder Mountain, Tapu Koko, basically make it a single energy attack. There is a lot to like about this attack. But the biggest downside to this attack is we've got other Pokemon we can do this with. Thunder Mountain and Tapu Koko are both Prism Stars. They're both one in your deck. And for the same resources, we can use Pikachu and Zekrom. Also do 150, but then search your deck for free lightning energy and attach them to one of your Pokemon. Ah, yeah, that, that's a little bit better, ladies and gentlemen. Or maybe you use Zero Aura, which gives your Pokemon free retreat if they've got lightning energy attached. But it also does 160, which is 10 more damage. And that's relevant because that will get something like a Dedene. Not to mention that you also have 30 more HP. So I'd like this attack. I'm not saying it's a bad attack at all. I am, in fact, saying the opposite. I'm saying it's a pretty good attack. But my issue here, extremely simply, is if I'm putting Thunder Mountain, Prism Star, Tapu Koko, and an Energy down, I kind of want more. And that might sound a bit greedy and a bit selfish, but there are other Pokemon out there that will give me more, and that means that I stop to pause here. As for the GX attack, the GX attack is the worst thing about the card. Two lightning, one colorless energy, 100 damage plus paralysis. Not loving it. Now, to be fair, it is exactly the same as Lapras's GX attack. And Lapras actually did see a lot of play. But hands up if you played Lapras for the GX attack. I mean, no. No, 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 no. It's not a reason to play it. Now, the timing of release does make this a little bit better than Lapras. Because as it stands, Guzma's gone away. And we've also lost Ace Roller. Which were the two best ways to get your Pokemon out of the active when they were paralyzed or something similar. Which means it is far more likely that you're actually going to get this paralysis to stick and buy yourself a turn. Whereas with Lapras, everyone was playing multiple Ace Roller and Guzma, so the chances of ever getting Paralysis to actually stick were essentially zero. It's still not a great GX attack. Certainly, if you're playing this over Pikachu and Zekrom's GX attack, something's gone kind of wrong. But in terms of a, hey, I've got nothing... I can buy myself a turn, it's unlikely they're going to be able to get around the paralysis and I can figure out what to do next, or I can paralyze them, they can't attack and then I can get a KO and win the game next turn, yeah, there are reasons to play this, it will buy you a turn, it will give you a two hit KO hopefully without interruption etc, but my point here is that it's not a particularly impressive GX attack. Is it a particularly impressive GX? It's not that special. It's not out-and-out out garbage. The first attack giving you immunity on a coin flip is quite nice, especially when we've got Will. And the second attack with the tricks we've got for lightning Pokemon is fairly cool. Without the lightning tricks, it would be terrible. But with the lightning tricks, it's kind of cool. The GX attack is fine. It'll be occasionally useful. 
My issue with Pikachu is that I don't know why we're playing it over Pikachu and Zekrom. And I don't know why we're playing it over Zero Aura. Frankly, we've got better options. So I'm going to give this free Wossies. I could see it making its way into a deck, especially using the first attack to buy yourself a bit of time in the early game. But the fact that it's only got 160 HP and the fact that we've got better options means that it's unlikely to see a huge amount of play. But I'd like to know what you think about this, ladies and gentlemen. So do please let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash plays, where we talk about a whole bunch of games that don't even have any Pokemon in. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.